Okay, it's all a talk, folks. Doradus, and basically, it is what I already showed you that the planet that they. And here we go to the Hertzberg Russell diagram. Got it over to the right. And what I was telling you about this before is this is how all this solar system stuff out there lines up. You've got the super giants way back here, main sequence here, and you will be able to see the, the size, temperatures, what kind of a mass star they are here. M class, they put them, they group them. Basically, you got to remember that you're 360 degrees in space out here. You do have the sun over here with Alarap around this area here somewhat, but you got to put yourself out there 360 degrees like in a fishbowl, okay? And then they plot these on here in temperature wise, and then you got to figure 360 degrees from the sun and from Earth. So you can either plot yourself as Earth out there or the sun, but it's basically better to plot yourself off the sun. Because you can always find Earth from the sun, and then you can find directions or everything else out there in anything that you're using for. Uh, I use lots of different uh, software. Basically, I you can see my symbol down there, and I just don't advertise for anybody. So let's go ahead and look at what we got going on here. And now there's a reasoning for certain numbers, and I you can see this here. I'm not going to get into that right here. All I know is I love the U.S. psyops departments. So anyway, some people that have went rogue from the U.S. psyops offices. You got a problem. Once someone does something to somebody, so anyway, uh, what I'll do is basically get out of here again, and basically that is one of the star groups that it is in for damn sure. And there's lots of other ones. I'm not going to give that information out. I'm wanting to get other information from people. There is a land rush on it. It is space, and basically we can travel through space, and people are going to start realizing that. It might take a couple more years, but the idea that the people in the know and in the click. So a lot of these things is where it's not at. There are observations where it is at and basically I've got all of the it pretty much and just lots of people can go to it the, a lot of other people need invitations and roadmaps to get to it so I want information and I'll get it now I'm gonna give you the actual telescope shots in a few minutes and basically then you'll know that the, I do know what we're looking at now when I point here I could be right I could be wrong it doesn't even really matter about that group but basically it is a roundish it's a very roundish uh, star cluster okay and what we're looking at right now, too, is we have the meatball in the middle of the screen. And basically what I'm going to do is you can go around and play your 200%, and basically you'll find out that this mass is here, and there's tons of masses of lone stars that are dead that didn't really form and become a good star. Uh, there, there's always a size difference, minor, dwarf, and so forth. And let me take you some information on that. Now, what you have to be careful about this side is some information is true and, and a lot of information in here sometimes is disinformation to get you going in the wrong direction. And sometimes you can be lucky and uh, they're telling you everything that you really want to know in this symposium, okay? So, this stuff's all out there. Now, yesterday I was able to get a good view at Uranus and I'm probably going to get a better view here and maybe we might get a historical view in here to it. But basically, you can see it because it's the blinker. It's very dark where Uranus is at, and there's just enough light getting shedded from Mercury and a bunch of other bright off this huge CME, so we get a nice look into, and basically, what's unique is you have to look, and it's just a psychology too, but you, when you think down to the scientific fact, is when the sun gets a huge something close to its magnetical field, or operating in its magnetical field, and it wants to get a look at something more, or shed things off that are coming in that are large, there has been some huge stuff come by the sun of recent, and I'll show you that in the next couple of videos and stuff like that, but in a hella fast too. And so we get the action off the sun, and you can see Uranus doing its blink in there. It's just uh, in between. It's basically the little blinker right there to the right upper there, from what I understand, because that's what the, their laser telling us what it is. Now, I've seen some huge stuff up by Uranus by looking at what I looked at yesterday on the same footage, because you can zoom in, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Hopefully, we've got time. Let's go to some more. And this is some good information of what is really over there. So, anyhow, this stuff is really there. I'm just basically, yeah, I'd like to go over the telescope, but I'm not in no big hurry to go over there and check that telescope out. Uh, I'll do it sometime when I want to do it. But anyway, now coming over here, basically, the physicists know that I know how we can actually. So, it's not somewhat of a secret. And, it, and then again it is because there's little links to be able to make sure that it works and functions correctly so yep we can pretty much turn 42 light years into probably 42 hours or 42 days 
And as you see, I don't know what the last thing I touched on here, but as you see, we have all kinds of different speed particles, and basically, it goes into photons, protons, and, and uh, quantum. So, and I've been studying the quantum ever since they started colliding. So I'm an electrician. I want to know about that stuff. So anyhow, this is what we got for a map out there right now, what's going on, Venus and Mercury, so that you know that when we're looking at it, basically Venus is beyond, and you won't be able to, uh, well, you will be able to, Venus will be over here to the left, but you want to go to, uh, actually, just basically, you want to go and look at Sechi on the H2, this is what you want to look at on the 11th, and if you look there on the 11th, you'll get a good uh, shot of uh, Vega, and there's something huge up outside of Vega that's not listed on uh, a lot of, and there's also, and then you can see also, I'll, maybe I'll have time to go in. As you can see, our solar speed is up and our pressure is possibly up, but it's been higher in the past, the dynamic pressure, so but we're good on that. So as we get kind of calm here, I haven't even looked at what we got going on earthquakes. It's not really a matter at this point. Here's a 50-50. Uh, good advice, and then at the same time, it's a threat. So what's that? Well, I know what that is. So anyway, something's up, huh? Now, see, I've always told everybody it's all about them changing the names of stuff all the time. So as you see here, basically, I hold the keys to a lot of stuff. So anyway, a lot of people do. Plus, the thing is, way more I mean, a lot of people, but actually the numbers above me get smaller on people that have the numbers of what they got and what is what. This picture is correct, but uh, the numbering is to throw off. There's a little diff info, and then there's a lot of good information in here. And then at, I'll read this, and you can see the link, BBC News, Rogue Planet, go, go look that up. So basically, there's stuff pumped into people. Uh, there's a lot of truth here. The most of the truth is the actual factual that there is, but they lie about there being just one planet that's roaming our local area of, of the sun, okay? An idea that you basically actually factually know about the meatball. Now remember, that's an artist rendition there. So there's a little fake bake in here, and then there's a lot of truth in here. So you want to read that article. And basically, you can save time looking for the article. Just watch on full screen and blow it up. But I'm not feeding you any disinfo. Matter of fact, I'll just refresh it real fast and you can have the link. Big deal. There's no big deal letting the link there. There you go. Okay? So, but you got to remember there's disinfo too in that article. Now remember, I told you the distance was 42 light years and then a lot of people started saying 44 and then like I say, the disinfo, that certain agency tried to tell you that it's 100 light years away. It's not. It's 42 light years and I gave you the distance before. So watch my old videos and go back. Every one of my videos is a damn good catalog, okay? So now... Let's go ahead, and we're going to have a video on this in the future. We'll go in here. We'll actually be able to go into A and B, and we should be able to actually go take a look at it. Okay? Forget telescopes. This is the best telescope that you got out there, Soho. And, uh, oh, yeah, it'd be nice to be on the Hubble, wouldn't it? Remember, I gave you the correct constellation. I give you the numbers, the names of it, and everything like that. I just don't give you all the observations, but I'll give you some pictures. But the distances are there always lying on the distance. This may even be fudging now, too. As you notice, the distance keeps changing. Go to my original video. So I should be able to give a peek at Uranus here, and you'll see how great that this is. Now let's go ahead and first I'll pump up. We'll just go to 400 real fast so you understand what I'm saying. So basically, we'll be able to go in and take a look at Uranus. And there also is some new information because it's been so dark over there that we really didn't know what's exactly back there. Now, I seen two stars last night. So we'll see what we get to today when I take a look in here real fast. This is a different view. Like I say, basically go look at the 11th. The 11th's got some damn good footage. Okay, so then I'll, we'll, we'll customize this up to, uh, we'll go, oh man, we'll go ahead and 999. Let me get some video time saved here. Hang on. So the most important thing is, yes, you can zoom in like crazy at all these shots, the A and the B. And remember, there's layers, but the actual factual, they don't put a lot of, on the movies. They don't put a lot of layers on the movies, so you can zoom in and see a damn good shot of what's going on. Now, you, you might be able to uh, be able to con discern where Uranus is for actual factual, but there is two little stars that are out there. Either that or Uranus is that small, which is basically Uranus is supposed to be something between. I'll, I'll give you a comparison in a few minutes, I think. But let's go ahead and go in and, and take a look. Now, remember, uh, the only reason Mercury looks so huge right now is the idea that it's so close to the sun and, and its whole plasma field lights up. 
I'm not going to say a statement that someone's trying to get me to say, but anyway, you can see Mercury here, and remember that the sun is way down, or basically it doesn't matter. It's in the well. It's in the center. Everything's centered off the sun, okay? So Mercury's close, and you get that footage, and then I got Uranus over there, and we're taking a look at it, okay? Then you got Earth, Venus, but no matter what, see in this shot, you got Mars and Uranus that I'm zooming in on. And Uranus is way the hell out, and you'll see why it's so damn dark over there. But remember the size, it's way bigger than, it's the next biggest thing pretty much close to Jupiter that they tell you about, okay? And Pluto has always been basically, they're putting a, a stage act on Pluto because Pluto is smaller, but the idea there's a lot of secret stuff about Pluto that they're trying to hide. That's why they're trying to say it's not a planet anymore. Okay, there it's way the hell out. So, but basically, you can see there's two stars for darn sure, right? Either that or it could be planets. But when it has a cross, but see, as it gets very well illuminated, the plasma field, it'll start stretching out left laterals, left and right laterals. You see, because see, that's what Mercury's doing there. Okay, it'll start to get laterals. So basically, from a distance, we can we should figure that those are stars. Those are two stars there, and that's not Uranus. So we'll pl we'll pump in. So with new software, we always get good views. Now remember, Mercury right here is basically not a star, and it's not even really a planet. It's the same size as the moon. It's basically a moon that's basically magnetically connected in an orbit, okay? Now we'll put the zoom on, and we'll take a peek in, and as you can see, that this is great footage, and you can do this with your software. You don't need a telescope. It's better than a flipping telescope, okay? Soho and Sechi are awesome. You got to play around with this. We'll see what I get within the video time of what we got going on on here and see what we kind of look we get at Uranus. But you can play around with your own software and when you, every different day and you can check it out. And as you can see, there's stars because Uranus is dark. It doesn't have any luminosity to it. So basically they laser find it there. You might be able to catch it and it's just basically, I think what I've been able to find is some very dramatic shots of it from zooming in here. But now I'll go ahead and we'll zoom in some more. Maybe I was better off with the light that we were getting on. Uh, we'll get up to 300 and then we'll scan across. You can play around with your screen and you can end up. And basically you get basically there's Uranus. It looks like to me that it's this dark. But then I could be wrong. But I got some good views last night when I was shimmering around on here. And I would figure more than likely they were more correct that they're up here. But no matter what it's going to be a dark a darkness but because no matter what and as you can see when they're when they have Uranus listed there there's three stars that are like getting blocked there some of its writing and then some of its stars there's three stars over there and if I move around here I think I can get, well, yeah, I can get rid of this for a second. Hang on, we'll just stay at 300. But it's good to play around with this new softwares that there are out there and get them for your computer. And you can really get a great view of what's going on. That's Mercury there to the right. Uranus is back here somewhere, and it should be dark, and it's way the hell out, you see, away from Mercury, as I showed you on the plot map. So I was able to, at a few times, when I tried to take a picture of it, I couldn't get it froze. And if you go to pictures, you're not going to get a good resolution to be able to see. Because you, there you go, you can see two stars out there by Uranus, wherever Uranus is behind the darkness. Because there are stars that are out behind Uranus, but the idea that we're trying to get a good glimpse at basically being able to see it without its luminosity. Because it should be somewhere in the darkness here. So you can go search around. They seem to have it pretty good plotted on these two stars every time you go to look at it, though. So it's somewhere in these dark shadows, it, there's Uranus. And I think I had a good view of it on the 11th footage. So, And then you want to start looking at maybe the 10th and so forth. So I'm going to be looking, and you guys need to look too. But actual factual, that is what there was Mercury there as I'm flashing over. I'm going to try to get out of the screen. Real quick, we'll take a look at the meatball, in which we know that's there. And basically, it's always angles, you have to remember. And it's huge, space is huge, so basically there is some huge stuff out there and they're starting to admit that there's dark stuff that's out in space so i.e. you're getting a little truth finally let's take a look at the meatball here and remember it's angles and pi and so forth and so on. And basically angles to be able to see stuff as you see you need to use the tools and zoom in here and see all the stars in front of the meatball and basically the meatball is there okay it's not a shadow of Jupiter or anything like that 
The secret is using the CME light to find objects. Because the CMEs off of the sun are giving headlights out into space. So basically look at the 11th.